On Tuesday, the Supreme Court heard oral arguments to consider whether the federal government can require for-profit businesses to provide health insurance to their employees, even if the insurance covers medical care that goes against a business's religious beliefs. One mandate in the Affordable Care Act is being challenged by a furniture store in Pennsylvania and by the family who owns Hobby Lobby, who object to having to provide insurance plans that cover certain types of birth control, including the morning after pill. We believe that Americans don't lose their religious freedom when they open a family business. Women have the right to make their own decisions about their health care and their birth control and it's not their boss's decision. University of Toledo law professor Lee Strang says the stakes in this case are high, with both sides worried about what he calls the slippery slope effect the ruling could have. If you're a pro-mandate person, what you're worried about is that if we grant an exemption to, to Hobby Lobby in Conestega, what might happen is the next religious employer will say, you know, I have a religious objection to anti-discrimination laws. Or the next religious employer might say, I have, I have a religious objection to environmental laws or workplace safety laws. So that's the slippery slope from one side. On the other side, if you're on the conservative side of the court, what you're worried about is, so we're not granting Hobby Lobby a religious exemption when it has an objection to abortion-inducing drugs? Well, what about the next mandate that says you must directly provide money for abortions? Or the next mandate? So, so both sides have their concerns. Most legal experts, including Professor Strang, say the ideological split on the court means this case could be decided by the vote of one justice. And the, and the split vote, which is typical during this time period, is Justice Kennedy, who made comments that seem to fit both sides. And so it's, it's unclear what the result's going to be. A final ruling on the case is expected by the end of June, if not sooner, and the implications from that ruling could be huge for the future business of Hobby Lobby. That's because if the mandate is upheld, the company will either have to provide the required coverage or face steep fines that could total nearly half a billion dollars each and every year. Reporting in Toledo, Joe Thompson, WNWO News.